Welcome to the Review Rank, where I review movies and give you the personal feedback that's just really great and just all great all the time. Well, today I'm going to be looking at a film called Reanimator. Well, the reason why I'm doing this today is because yesterday around, I don't know if it was Tuesday, but we lost the truly amazing Stuart Gordon. Stuart Gordon directed and produced like many of these films, including today's Reanimator. He was a great, awesome guy, and it was a shame that he, when he was diagnosed, but he had organ failure, and it was truly sad. I learned about it. It was, that was not fun, but to remember him in my honor, I want to look at Reanimator. Reanimator is the film uh, that oh, where you can bring things back to life. Herbert West is the main character that, um, that you know, just brings stuff back to life. Rest in peace, Stuart Gordon. You were an amazing man. Anyway, Reanimator, like I said, it was uh, um, bringing people back to life and to reanimated things. What are the movie's title? Uh, the movie shows a spry young Herbert West, played by Jeffy and Cr- uh, Jeffrey Cr- uh, Combs. Man, I keep pronouncing that guy's name wrong. He was just the best uh, part of the movie. And aside from all of the undead beings, it's all oh, it's a fun movie. And it's it's not one of my favorites, but it's probably one of the greatest horror movies ever made. It even says it in the movie's subtitle, or uh, the people said it. I don't know uh, that it might not be mean that I'm looking at stuff. But over the next couple of days, I'll be looking at Reanimator. It's two sequels, and in honor of Stuart Gordon, man, I just can't believe he, 1947 to um, 2020. He he loved to be 72 and did a great thing, and produced many many films. Reanimator just shows uh, Dan um, Barbara Crampton as Meg, one of the most pop horror icons, and they team up uh, to get. Um, the villains, and they eventually get all the undead beings out of, um, in control, and they just save the day, but unlike these two movie sequels, they'll get a lot more gorier, but that's all I have to say. It's a short review, I know, but I mostly I just wanted to do this because of Stuart Gordon's passing, and how I'm just really phased by it, like, not phased, but I just can't believe the guy uh, did it, because he was the director of this movie, and... I watched this movie before, and I just enjoyed it. Rest in peace, man. And until then, I'm Kieran Lynn. Now this has been SM.